Hey, what's going on? So I just want to let you all know that I am a Christian. I believe that Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. I am not the best Christian, hands down, anywhere in the world. Okay, I sin every day, as most of us do. I ask for forgiveness every night, every day, all the time. I pray as often as I remember and think about it and all this stuff. But I have to tell you, I had a long conversation with somebody the other day. It was about 45 minutes long. And he told me he was a former Christian. He just doesn't know the Bible. Um, I have a bad memory. I've read the Bible countless times. I've given sermons. I've done everything. I have a terrible memory. Like, absolutely terrible memory. Um, I don't remember verses. I've tried and tried and tried, and I've gone through all these different um, kind of trainings, I guess, to try to make my memory work better, but I just can't remember them. But we had a really good conversation, really long conversation, and I told him I did a lot of research into different religions and stuff, and um, a couple of, for a couple of years I did this stuff, and uh, ultimately I came back to Christianity. It just... it seemed like that was the right answer that everything led back to it in some way shape or form everything came back to it because no other religion no other set of values or whatever you want to call it has the answer and christianity does in christianity jesus christ straight up admits he is the son of god he is going to be at the right hand he is the man he is the only way no other religion out there gives an actual way to heaven. They all say, oh, be a good person. Jesus laid it out for us. Now, during this conversation, we had um, pretty good dialogue. Uh, we did a lot of communication, a lot of really good, fun stuff. And like I said, this was about a week ago. And somebody else came up to me right before I left work today. And they were like, hey, thanks for telling him to get a Bible. And I was like, what, did he go out and get one? Because I told him there's so many avenues to go get a Bible. A lot of these resale shops and Goodwill and stuff like that, they will give you a Bible. They're not going to charge you for it. And that's why I've said for years, the word of God cannot be bought. The word of God is given. And so many of these places, they do it. They'll give away a free Bible to every customer that walks in or anybody that walks in. You don't even have to buy anything. So I was really happy to hear that not only did he get this Bible, he's been reading it, and he's been talking to other people, and he seems excited about what he's seeing in there. People, God puts us in a place for a reason. It doesn't matter where you are, what you're doing, you can reach people. And I feel so good. And after this person told me that he went out and got a Bible and he's been reading it and having conversations with other people in the house, Christians, non-Christians, Democrats, Republicans, people in the middle. I mean, he's been having conversations with everybody and they're like, his whole attitude seems to have changed. Anybody can bring anybody to the truth. You just have to be willing to do it. I hope that all of you out there can encourage people. Now, I didn't shove it down his throat. I wasn't, I'm not a street preacher. Um, I'm not that good at talking like that, so I would never be a street preacher. But, um, and like I said, my memory is terrible. Uh, so remembering verses and stuff like that, it's just not my thing. It's just not me. Um, maybe one day God's going to give me that grant, grant me that gift and just be like, boom, your memory's perfect. You're going to remember everything. I'm not there yet. I, I've tried for a long time and I'm not there, but man, did that make me feel good. And I've got to tell you, as I was walking away, I felt it. 